Hallelujah. 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 Yes, God. Thank you. Yes, God. So we're going to do praise and worship. This is two praise and worship Power. songs. Yes, God. Oh 
to them, go to the village ahead of you, and as you enter it, you will find a coat tied there, which no one has ever written. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, what are you doing? Why are you doing it? Tell them the Lord needs it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those who were sent ahead went and found it, just as he had told them. As they were untying the coat, the elders asked them, Why are you untying the coat? They replied, The Lord needs it. They brought it to Jesus, threw their cloaks on the coat, and put Jesus on it. As he went along, people spread their cloaks on the road. When he came near the place where the road goes down to the Mount of Olives, the whole crowd of the disciples began joyfully praising God in loud voices for all the miracles they had seen. Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Some of the Pharisees of the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. I tell you, he replied, if they keep quiet, the stones will cry out. As he approached Jerusalem and saw the city, he wept over it and said, if you, even you, had only known on this day would we bring you peace. But now it is hidden from your eyes. The days will come upon you when your enemies will build an embarkment against you uh -huh. and encircle you and hem you on every side. Mm -hmm. Verse 44. They will dash you to the ground mm -hmm. and your children within your walls. They will not leave one stone on another because you did not recognize the time of God's coming to you. Amen. Eternal God, our Father, we thank Jesus. you for this opportunity to still share the good news yes. of Jesus Christ yes. virtually, oh God. 
We pray in the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. Lord God, that you would have your way. Yes, God, be glorified, Jesus. Great God, that you be glorified. I pray that you use me like you know. Yes, used God, me but in the name of Jesus. That you take that of self, that no yes, flesh Lord. glory in thy presence. Yes. But you get all you the, get glory, the glory, Jesus. The honor and the praise in Jesus' in name. Jesus we pray name. and thanks. Amen. Amen. And amen. In our text today, we see such an example. Jesus, the son of a carpenter, educated in Nazareth, who gained favor with men, one who cheered and praised, would soon be marked, scorned, and cast aside by someone who would do with the cheering. On, the, on that Palm Sunday, as Jesus approached Jerusalem, there were several things that he was aware of. Mm -hmm. He knew the conditions surrounding the people. All right. And he knew the conditions surrounding the people's hearts. Mm. The Jews found themselves under heavy Roman oppression. There were heavy taxes, restrictions, numerous executions by means of crucifixion. And Jesus knew all about those things. Mm -hmm but he knew their hearts. Right. Mm. The Jews were in search of someone. They desired a king, uh, a conqueror, someone to set them free. And they had seen the mighty works of this man named Jesus. Uh -huh. They were witnesses to him. Uh, they were witnesses to him restoring the sight to the blind. They saw the evidence of him healing the lame. They saw him feed multitudes with a little boy's lunch and, and, and had leftovers to spare. They had heard about him raising Lazarus from the dead. They listened to him teach with authority. Surely with power and authority like that, Jesus was without a doubt the one that would set them free. So Jesus came to Jerusalem and the crowds began to cheer. He came to Jerusalem and the crowds began to praise. The timing was right. It was approaching the Passover feast. That was symbolic of the events when death angel would pass over Egypt and Pharaoh let God's children go. And now, just maybe now, Jesus would somehow lead them from the restraints and cruel treatment they received from the Roman government. Jesus knew their hearts and he knew their desires. I, I don't want for you to think for a second that Jesus doesn't watch your motives. Yes, he knows yes, your agenda right every time you yes, go forth yes. to do air quote a good thing. God knows the heart. So yes. be careful yes. at what you say you're doing for God. Yes. Uh, so often we say we're doing this for God but we allow our flesh to get involved, and so therefore, we're easily insulted. Uh, but when you are working for God, yes, yes. you have to have thick skin, yes. Uh, yes. because people will say all manner of evil yes. against you, or try to treat you any way, try to discourage you yes. from moving forward in yes. doing God's work. Yes. Uh, but with, but, but, but uh, how many of you know that it's not about you? No. Uh, it's yes. not about me. But it's all about Jesus. And Jesus knew their hearts. The Roman soldiers knew something as well. These soldiers knew that it was Passover. They recognized that it was traditionally a time that brought about cursemanship and, and violence. Uh, they, they, they had not forgotten that several years earlier, the oldest of Jordan had written into the Jerusalem on a, uh, with a similar greeting. Uh, they, they remembered how he promised to do miracles of Elijah and how he led a fairly ro large revolt. The soldiers remembered how the oldest the oldest, along with 400 of his followers, were slain and had the head of the oldest was hung on the garrison wall. They, they, they knew Passover could bring trouble and they were ready. Mm. As Jesus rode into Jerusalem, the crowds waved palm branches. Yes, yes. 
alongside symbolizing uh, giving praise. Mm -hmm. they, they threw their, their cloaks on the ground so that Jesus could ride over them. They, they, they threw palm branches on the ground so that Jesus could ride over them. They shouted, blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Yes. Praising and cheering, exalting. But then something happened. Mm -hmm. The cheering stopped. <laughs> something happened. The praising stopped. All right. Jesus didn't gather any troops. He didn't lead a revolt. He didn't come in on a stallion. He didn't, he didn't do what they expected him mm. to do. All right. And instead, he came uh, on a donkey. Mm -hmm. yeah. He went in and drove the money changers out of the temple and he paid tribute to Caesar. He thought that giving out of poverty was worth more than giving out of abundance. Mm -hmm. He taught that in order to be great, you must be a servant. Yes, yes. Jesus did everything the people didn't want. So the praising stopped. The cheering stopped. Mm -hmm. Mm. It's amazing that when things are going our way, when God does what he wants to do, when Jesus rises to our cause, it's, it's easier to praise God. It, yeah. it is easier to praise and, and bless his name when there is no pandemic. It is easy to bless his name and give him high five and, and pay our tithes and offering and, and that when things are going our way. But the moment that the pandemic breaks out, uh, all of a sudden, uh, God, why are you allowing this to happen? Why would God do this to us? But we got to be careful. We have to keep the same momentum that we had before the pandemic hit. Uh, we had a hallelujah in our mouth. We had joy bells down in our heart. We, we got to keep the same momentum going because uh, uh, we're letting the enemy know situations are not going to dictate our praise. are not going to dictate yes, God. our praise. In other words, you shouldn't know when your brother or sister is going through based on their praise. Because their praise is the same. They give God the glory. They praise Him. They glorify Him. Yes, Lord. Now, if I was to go back, my subject would be I'm not going to let a rock cry and praise out God for me. Yes. I, I, I'm not going to allow a rock to praise my God Amen. for me. Yes, God. I'm not going to, to not bless his name because I'm going through. Come yes, on that's right. I'm not going to bless his name because situations are not going in my favor. Right. See, I understand what it's like. I know when you didn't know me and he did. I know that. I know my track record and he still chose me. See, I'm grateful because I could have lost my life out there in the streets, but because he had a hedge of protection around me when I have enough sense to protect myself. Uh, uh, that's where my, my praise goes way back then. It didn't just stop now that I got saved, but I'm praising God for when I didn't know Him, but He knew me. Shall cast a trench about thee, 
and a compass around thee and keep thee on every side and shall lay thee even with the, on the ground and thy children within thee and they shall not leave in thee one stone upon another because thou knewest not the time of thy visitation. I would like to give you just three, three things from these verses concerning what Jesus observed. Before I give you these three, three, three things, it's important to realize that our culture may not be the same. Uh -huh. The times are uh, not the same historically, but the application of these things uh, to us today the time is of the utmost importance. Look with me, if you will, at these three things as we answer the question, why did the cheering stop? Why did the praising stop? Ooh. Why did the cheering stop? First, it was because they didn't recognize his purpose. All right. Amen. Sometimes people will treat you any old kind of way because they don't recognize that you got purpose. All right, all right. If they would recognize that you got purpose, that, that, that God has a plan for your life, they wouldn't treat you the way that they do. All right, all right. Mm. My God, my God. Notice with me uh, uh, first at the end of verse 44, because thou knowest, knowest, not thy time of thy visitation. The word visitation could have one or two possible meanings. As we would consider it to be in the English language, Jesus could, could mean to visit someone in the sense of, how, of bringing judgment, but that doesn't fit the context. It, it, it could mean someone visiting to bring relief or deliverance. That would seem to fit. The word translated as visitation in our text uh, it is, is epistemy, which literally means to relieve. It's in its fact the same word used in Matthew 25, 36, where Jesus said, sick and ye visited me. I was sick and ye visited me. And, and, and you can see the irony. Here is a group of people desiring relief and salvation from oppression and failing to see their opportunity for true relief. Uh, 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 look at the phrase again. Jesus is not implying that they didn't know his purpose. These people were looking for the kingdom of God and Jesus had already told them that the kingdom of the, the kingdom is already in their presence. Some things that we're looking for that's right before your very yeah, face, yeah, yeah. but there's something that you got to do to get it. All right, my God, my God. Uh, they were aware of, of his claims to be the Son of God, they were witness to his miracle working power. Jesus even told them once that they could look at the sky to discern the weather, mm -hmm. but they could not discern the time in which they were living. All right. But there is a reason that they could not see his purpose. They could not see Jesus' purpose because their eyes are on their immediate circumstances instead of their current condition. We are the same way today. When you experience trials or certain hardships and you suffer through various difficulties, you get your own eyes on your circumstances when your focus is on everything around you that's wrong. And then something happens. Your prayer starts to change. Your prayer shifts from one place to another and becomes, Lord, deliver me, help me, Fight for me, lift me, yeah, instead yeah. of Lord, know me, yeah. use me, grow me through these things. Yeah. You see, this is, the, this is the issue that I have with the people. Yes, uh, is that when things are going good, uh, uh, we bless his name, yeah. we praise him, we glorify him, we run around the church. God is good and he's worthy to be praised. But the moment all hell breaks yeah. loose, yeah. then we 
we want immediate relief yes. instead of saying, God, I don't know why you have me where you have me right now, but there's something that you're trying to teach me. Yes. There's something that you're trying to do within me. There's something that you're trying to burn out of me. So mold me, shake me, make me into what you have me to be. Because I know when I come through, I'll come The people desire deliverance mm -hmm. from oppression. Mm -hmm. Jesus came to deliver them from the bigger problem mm -hmm. called sin. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And their desire to escape their immediate circumstances, to have their brand of peace, they missed the fact that they walked in the very presence of the Prince of Peace. My Lord. Mm -hmm. You see, when we are spiritually disconnected, uh -huh. yes. we can be in the presence and Jesus. not even know. Jesus. 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 This is why you see people nodding off to sleep in yeah. service. Yeah. Uh, when preaching is going forth and the Spirit of God is in the place and you're talking on your phone or you're texting people, they don't recognize that they're in the My God, why did the cheering stop? Don't lose sight of the fact that through any circumstances, you're in the presence yes, of the Prince yes. of Peace. Yes, the Word of God says, I'll never leave you nor forsake yeah, you. Hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Lord. John 16, 33. These things have I spoken to you so that in me you may have peace. Yes. There are so many people today mm -hmm. that's going through yes. and their emotions mm -hmm. because of what's taking place mm -hmm. in our society, in our country, in our world. This pandemic that broke out, it's broke out for a purpose. There's a reason yes. behind all of this. Yes. yes, I know the enemy has his purpose, but God yes. also yes. has a plan, yes. and he also has a purpose. Yes. Is to wake oh, yes. us up. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Yes it is. It's to wake yes. the church oh, up. Yes. yes. Because we've been sleeping the <laughs> wrong enough. Oh yes. Amen. Now the 
South Beach somewhere <laughs> and just vacation and, and, and leave all that stuff in New York, but guess what? It's in South Beach. <laughs> I, I can't even go to Cancun because it's over there too. I can't even go to the United Kingdom because it's over there too. Jesus. You can't hide from it. <laughs> shut down Jesus. means shut down. Yes. yes. But I feel in my spirit God. that he's about to press the reset button. Yes. Come on, Jesus. And when he presses the reset button, yes. our praise ought to be greater than it was before we went into this pandemic. Our witness should be that much more effective than it was before we went into this pandemic. Uh, I don't know about you, but I don't need no what pouring out for me. I got a mouth. You weren't there. You don't go in and you don't know where. That the Lord saved my soul when he picked me up out the muck of the miry clay. Oh yes, I got a praise for what he did for me way back then. I never shall forget. Hallelujah. I never shall forget what he's done for me. Now get this. Hallelujah. Your actions. Yes, God. Your ways ought to line up with what you say. Yes. 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 True. Your ways and your actions. Ought to line up with what you say. Yes. <laughs> if you say that I'm a Jesus lover, mm -hmm. if you say that I'm a praiser, then your ways and actions should dictate that. Yes. That even when your mouth is closed, yes. your body language is saying something else. Yes. Jesus. He's coming, riding. On the donkey, and he didn't come the way that they expected him to come. So they chilled out with the praise. And it's an interesting when you're preaching the good news of Jesus Christ and you're saying all of these wonderful things and getting people excited and making them jump and shout. But the moment that you talk about their sin is the moment that the praise stops. It's the moment that we sit back here. Maybe, maybe he knows something that I do. <laughs> maybe somebody told him my business. So the praising, the chilling stops. But don't allow your circumstance mm -hmm. to dictate your praise. Oh, yes. In fact, those of you who are going through, mm -hmm. your praise should be off the hook. Amen. Amen. Your praise should be through the roof. Yes, God. Because that tells the enemy, in spite of what's coming my way, my God is still great. My God is still wonderful. He still has all power in his hands. We got to know what we got to go through just a little while longer. But after this, God is going to bring us out. After this, my praise, I praise all by myself. But even in this pandemic, Jesus, Jesus, with all the restrictions, with all that we're seeing and all that we're hearing, our praise mm -hmm. should be busting through the seams. Yes, God. Yes, God. The media, the news, social media is trying to paralyze the people. Yes. Yes. Because they're telling us about all of the deaths. They're telling us about all of the cases. But they're not telling us about the recovery. Yes. Jesus. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Yes. See, see, they got some that they don't know about. Yes, God. Because there were those that went to the hospital and got tested. Yes. 
and tested positive and they sent them home. They don't know about the recovery. See, 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 God got some folk that's laying in the cups that's been healed by him. Keeper of my soul. 